Archer, is everything ready? The Shiremut will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shiremut for myself. I will follow. When will the vote begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones, but they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It is not an easy choice to make, but I will choose with care. I promise. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He's learning fast. Good man. A vote for Hunwald will return. Good evening, Elvgar. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It is a difficult choice, Elvgar. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say unreservedly that I am the man who would lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I do not doubt your convictions, Lord. Will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Dringer. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Alfgar is a friend of yours, is he not? He is, and a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. How fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this Shire. There is more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern, and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That is good to hear. Bishop. Eivor. I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouched for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you. For what it's worth. God go with you. Free men, free possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It is not for myself I must cast the stone. But for my clan, who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. 
Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Kunwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Though tinged with arrogance, Alvgard is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? Bishop can be stuffy and wallows in Christian piety, but he is wisest of the free and has already proven himself. Hunwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Leave your shire with pride, ferocious swan. It is decreed by this lawful Shire moot that the Elderman of Lincolnshire shall be son of our dear and departed Lord Hundbjorn, Lord Hunwald of Lincolnshire. I... I don't know what to say. I thank you deeply, madly, Humbly. What more can I say? I... I don't know. I miss my father. I'd sooner see him standing here than... Well, I will do my best. For each and every one of you. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. No. This Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace! What is this? Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive!
What's his end game? This one's gone. Find those who still draw breath. Polish your ass, Hunwald. The Elderman's seat is yours. As your war council, I suggest you waste no time in catching this grief tosser. He won't be far. We should first bury our dead, no? That choice is yours to make, Elderman. Yes. Yes, of course. We'll bury our dead, then raise a feared. at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God or... or the gods protect you. <laughs> The Valkyries have little to choose from. So many innocents cut down. Herefrith, the bog rat, the shit eater. The devil has him, that's plain to see. Bloody murderer. Oh, Shire. What remains? My heaven waits. <laughs> <laughs> 